We are here in the computer laboratory at the University of Cambridge and we have all the tables full of students. We have over 100 students from the United States and the United Kingdom and they are all taking part in a three-day ethical hacking competition. This competition is being run because we want the next generation of cyber defenders to come together. Of course, these people need to learn some skills about how to attack systems so that they can be one step ahead of the bad guys when they attack. They also need to have links. They need to network with each other. And so what we're doing, we are taking people from 25 of the best universities in the States and in the UK, and we are forming mixed teams where in each team of five people, no two members are from the same university and every team has members from both countries. So they are forced to collaborate. So one of the challenges we're giving the teams up there today is a real world scenario where we have a threat nation state with weapons of mass destruction. Conventional techniques aren't taking out the WMDs, so the students upstairs are looking for ways of infiltrating via cyber techniques. They've created uh, almost this military-esque feel. They gave us a briefing and they introduced the storyline and what our job is as operatives and people working for the government. I and mean, essentially it's really about trying to save some computers and destroy other computers, kind of this attack defense scenario. In order to understand the vulnerabilities of your own system, you have to think the same way bad guys think. At the same time, you also have to think defensively because these competitions involve both defending systems and attacking systems at once. This is a moment-to-moment -moment event. It's not one that gives you the luxury to sit back and think, you know, great thoughts. You have to figure out what you're going to do, whether it's the perfect thing to do or not. You have to do something. Some of these side challenges are classical uh, crypto uh, puzzles, uh, including one uh, one sculpture. So this is a big. Uh, this is basically a big uh, sculpture, sort of you can see behind me, um, written with characters in a very very foreign language. And so this is actually meant to be a code that encodes an actual message. Um, so the goal of the challenge is to figure out what it's saying. The message is actually written in the Navajo language, uh, which is quite obscure. Um, and that's just the first uh, layer of uh, obfuscation that the students have to, uh, have to get to grips with. It's a cipher, it's written in some sort of unknown language. You're supposed to basically decode this and figure out what is actually the message that it's trying to tell you. The skills that these people are exercising and perfecting here are the skills that are needed to keep up our society, which is depending more and more on computers. Because these are very smart people, many of them will be in key positions. They will be chief security officers, they will be national security advisors, they will be senior ethical hackers and so on. We want them to have a network to rely on of the people that they met now in 2017 in Cambridge. Industry as a whole uh, needs to be more involved because we need to address the skills gap which everybody's been recently talking about, you know, by 2022 there's potentially 1.8 million shortfall in the industry. That's a lot of people. We need to get out there to events, to universities, to colleges, to schools and sell what we do a lot earlier in a student's life to give them the opportunity to, to think about it as a career. I hope that the many much younger people who are watching this get inspired by these talented students who are a bit older than them and take them as their role model and say, well, I'm now only 14 or 15. At some point, I'll have to choose to do something at university. Well, I could become like one of these. We're here as finalists today to see what's happening as the competition as a reward for being finalists in our national all-girls cybersecurity competition. From this competition we've all decided to take computer science for GCSE, which I know most of us really didn't think about taking before. Very inspirational, and yeah. like, it just makes you like want to do it and be a part of it all. Um, I've had the opportunity to speak to some of the recruiters and they've been very upfront, we need X, Y and Z and that's been really good to sort of roadmap me into where I can go to. Yeah, it's been very, very encouraging and I, I would recommend it. If you 
think about the size of our two economies and all of the computing systems that are involved in those, there's nowhere near the number of people we need with really strong skills that are capable of defending all of those systems. And so I think people will go out and find huge opportunities, interesting and great jobs, and be providing a real service to society as they do that.